Wilhelm Conrad Ra Paragraph NTGN was a German physicist, who, on November 8, 1895, produced and detected electromagnetic radiation in a wavelength range today that was known as X-rays or Ra Paragraph NTGN rays, an achievement that earned him the first Nobel Prize in Physics in 1901. In honor of his accomplishments, in 2004 the International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry named element 111, Rundgenium, a radioactive element with multiple unstable isotopes, after him. Biography In 1865, he tried to attend the University of Utrecht without having the necessary credentials required for a regular student. Upon hearing that he could enter the Federal Polytechnic Institute in Zurich, he passed its examinations and began studies there as a student of mechanical engineering. In 1869, he graduated with a Ph.D. from the University of Zurich. Once there, he became a favorite student of Professor August Kunt, whom he followed to the University of Strasbourg in 1873. Career In 1874 Ra Paragraph NTGN became a lecturer at the University of Strasbourg. In 1875 he became a professor at the Academy of Agriculture at Hohenheim, Wang on Quarterrittenberg. He returned to Strasbourg as a professor of physics in 1876, and in 1879, he was appointed to the chair of physics at the University of Giessen. In 1888, he obtained the physics chair at the University of Wang on Quarter LZBURG, and in 1900 at the University of Munich, by special request of the Bavarian government. Ra Paragraph NTGN had family in Iowa in the United States and at one time planned to emigrate. Although he accepted an appointment at Columbia University in New York City and had actually purchased transatlantic tickets, the outbreak of World War I changed his plans and he remained in Munich for the rest of his career. During 1895 Ra Paragraph NTGN was investigating the external effects from the various types of vacuum tube equipment to Euro apparatuses from Heinrich Hertz, Johann Hittorf, William Crookes, Nikola Tesla and Philipp von Leonardi Euro, when an electrical discharge is passed through them. In early November, he was repeating an experiment with one of Leonard's tubes in which a thin aluminium window had been added to permit the cathode rays to exit the tube but a cardboard covering was added to protect the aluminium from damage by the strong electrostatic field that is necessary to produce the cathode rays. He knew the cardboard covering prevented light from escaping, yet Ra paragraph NTGN observed that the invisible cathode rays caused a fluorescent effect on a small cardboard screen painted with barium platinum cyanide when it was placed close to the aluminium window. It occurred to Ra paragraph NTGN that the Hittorf Crookes tube, which had a much thicker glass wall than the Lenar tube, might also cause this fluorescent effect. In the late afternoon of November 8, 1895, Ra paragraph NTGN was determined to test his idea. He carefully constructed a black cardboard covering similar to the one he had used on the Lenard tube. He covered the Hittorf Crookes tube with the cardboard and attached electrodes to a room cuff coil to generate an electrostatic charge. Before setting up the barium platinum cyanide screen to test his idea, Ra Paragraph NTGN darkened the room to test the opacity of his cardboard cover. As he passed the room cuff coil charge through the tube, he determined that the cover was light tight and turned to prepare the next step of the experiment. It was at this point that Ra Paragraph NTGN noticed a faint shimmering from a bench a few feet away from the tube. To be sure, he tried several more discharges and saw the same shimmering each time. Striking a match, he discovered the shimmering had come from the location of the barium platinum cyanide screen he had been intending to use next. Ra Paragraph NTGN speculated that a new kind of ray might be responsible. November 8 was a Friday, so he took advantage of the weekend to repeat his experiments and make his first notes. In the following weeks he ate and slept in his laboratory as he investigated many properties of the new rays he temporarily termed X-rays, using the mathematical designation for something unknown. The new rays came to bear his name in many languages as Ra Paragraph NTGN rays. Nearly two weeks after his discovery, he took the very first picture using X-rays of his wife Anna Bertha's hand. When she saw her skeleton she exclaimed I have seen my death. 
At one point while he was investigating the ability of various materials to stop the rays, Ra paragraph NTGN brought a small piece of lead into position while a discharge was occurring. Ra paragraph NTGN thus saw the first radiographic image, his own flickering ghostly skeleton on the barium platinum cyanide screen. He later reported that it was at this point that he determined to continue his experiments in secrecy, because he feared for his professional reputation if his observations were in error. Ra paragraph NTGN's original paper, on a new kind of rays, was published on December 28, 1895. On January 5, 1896, an Austrian newspaper reported Ra paragraph NTGN's discovery of a new type of radiation. Ra Paragraph NTGN was awarded an honorary Doctor of Medicine degree from the University of Wang one quarter LZBURG after his discovery. He published a total of three papers on X-rays between 1895 and 1897. Today, Ra Paragraph NTGN is considered the father of diagnostic radiology, the medical speciality which uses imaging to diagnose disease. A collection of his papers is held at the National Library of Medicine in Bethesda, Maryland. Personal Life Ra Paragraph NTGN was married to Anna Bertha Ludwig and had one child, Josephine Bertha Ludwig. Adopted at age six, in 1887, she was the daughter of Anna's brother. Ra Paragraph NTGN died on February 10, 1923 from carcinoma of the intestine. It is not believed his carcinoma was a result of his work with ionizing radiation because of the brief time he spent on those investigations, and because he was one of the few pioneers in the field who used protective lead shields routinely. Ra Paragraph NTGN did not take patents out on his discoveries, and donated the money for his Nobel Prize to the University of Wang one quarter LZBURG. With the inflation following World War I, Ra Paragraph NTGN fell into bankruptcy later in life, spending his final years at his country home at Walheim, near Munich. In keeping with his will, all his personal and scientific correspondence were destroyed upon his death. Honors and awards In 1901 Ra Paragraph NTGN was awarded the very first Nobel Prize in Physics. The award was officially in recognition of the extraordinary services he has rendered by the discovery of the remarkable rays subsequently named after him. Ra Paragraph NTGN donated the monetary reward from his Nobel Prize to his university. Like Pierre Curie, Ra Paragraph NTGN refused to take out patents related to his discovery, as he wanted mankind as a whole to benefit from practical applications of the same. Romford Medal, Matucci Medal Elliot Cresson Medal, Nobel Prize for Physics, in November 2004 IUPAC named element number 111 Rontgenium in his honor. IUPAP adopted the name in November 2011. Legacy, today, in Remyard Lemp, 40 kilometers east of Dar one quarter Seldorf, the house in which Rontgen was born in 1845 is the Deutsches Ra Paragraph NTGN Museum. See also, German Inventors and Discoverers. References. External links. Biography at the official Nobel site. Annotated bibliography for Wilhelm Röntgen from the Also's Digital Library. Wilhelm Conrad Ra Paragraph NTGN Biography. The Cathode Ray Tube Site. First X-ray Photogram. The American Röntgen Ray Society. Deutsches Ra Paragraph NTGN Museum. W. C. Röntgen Euromedicalpedia. Ra Paragraph NTGN Rays. Memoirs by Ra Paragraph NTGEN, Stokes, and J. J. Thompson, Some Places and Memories Related to Wilhelm Conrad Röntgen on Heimtop A Euro The History of Medicine Topographical Database, The New Marvel in Photography, An Article on and Interview with Ra Paragraph NTGEN, in McClure's Magazine, Volume 6, No. 5. April, 1896, from Project Gutenberg. Wilhelm Ra Paragraph NTGN at Find a Grave.